Hello friends, welcome to Cinema Cap YouTube channel, today we are going to see The Flash is a 2023 American superhero film based on the DC Comics, before entering into the topic, please subscribe the channel for more, one of the most spectacular and frustrating mixed bags of the superhero blockbuster era, The Flash, is simultaneously thoughtful and clueless, challenging and pandering. It features some of the best digital FX work I've seen and some of the worst. Like its sincere but often hapless hero, it keeps exceeding every expectation we might have for its competence only to instantly faceplant into the nearest wall. Then it hits the reset button and starts again, which, come to think of it, is what The Flash keeps doing over and over again narratively, with time, parallel universes, and the question of whether canonical events in the life of a person or a whole dimension can be altered. From start to finish, it suffers the double misfortune of being its own worst enemy, despite real thoughtfulness and an intriguingly unstable cocktail of genres, slapstick comedy, family drama, heavy metal action flick, philosophically driven science fiction adventure, and also arriving on screens right after the release of Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse. A high watermark for both superhero movies and major studio animated features that explores most of the same concepts as The Flash in a more aesthetically innovative way. For those still reading, remember the ending of the original 1978 Superman, the movie, where Christopher Reeve's Superman has to choose between stopping a nuclear missile headed for Miss Tessmacher's home state and preventing his great love Lois Lane from getting killed by an earthquake, tries to do both, loses Lois, then turns back time to resurrect her. Well, that sequence has been expanded into an entire film and merged with the Back to the Future series, courtesy of Barry's decision to try to go back in time and change one detail on the day his family was destroyed. Mom, Maribel Verdu, sent Dad, Ron Livingston, to the local supermarket to fetch a can of tomatoes she needed for a recipe. When little Barry hears a commotion and comes downstairs, he finds mom on the kitchen floor with a knife jammed into her bloody chest and dad weeping over her corpse with one hand on the hilt. Barry surmises that he can use his flash powers to return to that fateful day, add a can of tomatoes to mom's supermarket basket and save both parents. Unfortunately, the flash also has a countervailing tendency that undermines its best self. Even as it cleverly translates Shelley's worries into contemporary comic book terms, it serves up callback after fan-wanking callback to other versions of heroes and villains from film and TV. Seemingly with no other purpose than to burnish Warner Bros. properties and make the audience point to the screen and whisper the names of actors, characters, films, TV shows, and comic books that they recognize, what a mess. And what a shame, because what's good about The Flash is very good. The movie puts a lot of thought into what it wants to say and not enough into how it says it. It avidly warns against a thing while at the same time doing a version of that same thing. Barry, driven by a desire to resurrect the dead, grapples with the ethics and advisability of actions that the film constantly performs, in small ways and large, without breaking a sweat. 